Welcome to this Australian Earth Science Education video about how to conduct a field study of introduced species. Some introduced species, like our food crops or confined domestic animals, are not a great problem. However, invasive species cost Australia billions of dollars each year to control, agricultural productivity is lost, and native animals and plants are endangered. Weeds are easy to study. Animals move and may be difficult to observe, but plants hold still so you can get good photos for later identification and count them more easily. For your field study, you will need a notebook, a hula hoop or metal ring, a thermometer, a light meter, and a magnetic compass. I used free light meter and compass apps on my phone. Before doing field work, you must consider the risks. My study area has funnel web spiders and paralysis ticks. Long sleeves, long pants, and closed-toed shoes will protect you from bites. A hat and sun lotion help to prevent sunburn. Some plants can cause skin irritation. Your long clothing will help to prevent this, but always learn about the plants in your study area before you begin field work. We will start looking at abiotic factors by measuring light level. I'm measuring both above and below my study plants in order to see how they affect light levels at the soil. I'm also measuring the temperature of air and soil in my study area. Soil changes temperature slowly. My soil was six degrees cooler than the air. Another abiotic factor is the aspect of your study site. If your site is on a slope, which way does it face? Mine faces east. Biotic factors include interactions with other species. My weed, Tradescantia, might be a food for animals, offer shelter, or compete with other plants. What do you think is happening here? Determining the abundance of trad is difficult because it grows in runners along the ground. Roots can grow out of every node along the stem. For this reason, I counted the number of growing tips inside my circle in order to determine the abundance of this plant. I made five measurements of light levels, temperatures, and abundance, then took the averages. Trad shades the soil, which was much cooler than the air. For biotic factors, there were a staggering 262 growing tips per square meter in my weed patch. Trad grew over other plants, and there was no sign of disease or animals feeding on trad. I did see a little frog under the mat of vegetation, so it can provide shelter for small animals. To learn more about weeds in your local area, go to weeds.org.au. Your local council may also have information on common pest species in your area. If you find a weed of national significance, be sure to report this to your local council.